beautiful people of the interwebs. Sorry, I didn't say goodbye last time. Um, I got into that situation where I just, uh, I needed to make choice and it took forever and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I didn't know what I wanted to do after that. So I needed to go away for a while and consider my options. Um, I have installed a new mod, though I'm not sure if I'll get to it today because it's uh, located in Whiterun. Uh, I have installed the Nice and Cozy Basement by Destero. And, oh, I wanted to do my perk. And the thing about that mod is it's like a starter home. As I understand it, it's like a free starter home that you can find through a quest um, that already exists in my time of need quest. Which is exactly the kind of thing I was looking for way back at the beginning of the Let's Play when I was like, I had all this crap and some some of it I didn't want to sell, I wanted to hold on to for later. I didn't have anywhere to put it. And even once I had the money, I didn't want to buy Breeze Home because I really don't like Breeze Home because it's really crap and you can't ever upgrade it. That's the thing that kind of bugs me. Really? Like, if you buy if you bought a shit home because you didn't have any money. And then you started making money, but you didn't want to move. Like, wouldn't you want to spruce up your home? I'm not talking about furnishing the inside like you can do in the game, right? I'm talking about, like, get a contractor to come in and replace one of them nasty walls. You know, it'd be nice if you could, like, slowly improve the house, maybe build on it a little bit. And even if you couldn't build on it, you know, for space reasons or grid reasons or whatever, you should at least be able to change out the textures. You know, and just say, well, I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to spend however much gold, and I'm going to, you know, upgrade our roof and, you know, have a nicer roof. You know what I mean? I would like the homes in-game more if I could upgrade their look as my character upgrades. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Point is, didn't want to buy Breeze Home. I wanted a, a nice little starter home. And unfortunately, this mod did not exist at that time, but it does now. So I thought I would check it out for uh, any future character I might play uh, and see if the, it might work, you know, early on in the uh, in the session. So this is where I decided to put my perk because it is the fastest way to get up here. I think I actually made this decision a long time ago, but I had to get my enchanting up to 70. And by then I kind of forgot I wanted to do it. So gonna put it in there although I think I also might eventually get this one because I do seem to have a lot of problem with frost but I don't seem to have too much problem with shock a lot of problem with frost always dying on the frost all right so here we are in Riverwood here's Stenvar hi Stenvar how you doing all right Stenbar is in a mood. Do you really think I can be a blacksmith someday, Papa? As good as you are on Greymane? Or maybe even as good as you? Aww. Oh, I know it. You keep working hard like you've been doing, and you can be the greatest blacksmith Skyrim has ever seen. You've been a good friend to me. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. Aww. See? That guy's a good dad to his daughter, not like that. That guy in in solitude who's all like, you can't Some ever run this in. Those people get my fist, but you, I like. Sorry, I missed the first half of that because to me it sounded like you just said some people think I'm smart, and those people get my fist. I'm sure that wasn't it. I trust you. You trust me. Thanks, Denver. That's very nice and accurate. We really need to upgrade your gauntlets. They look funny. Um, so yes, what I have decided to do is... I can't sit on that bench. We're going to sit on this bench over here. Before we meet up with Delphine, I'm going to finally read that Blades book. Try to learn a little bit more about Delphine and where she's coming from and her history and stuff Don't like that. Don't get too far ahead. Oh, are you a slow read? Do you want to read over my, my shoulder? Do you want to sit down, Stenmar? What? You want to sit here? Do you want to sit here? Will do. Next to me? That's sweet. I'm going to have story time with Stenvar. All right, now, that book is called The Rise. 
rise of the blades or something like that. The rise and fall of the blades. Which Delphine has said she, uh, she is or was one of them. The Rise and Fall of the Blades by Anonymous. There are many that still remember the Blades. There are fewer that can pass down their stories, their origins, and their downfall. My father could. In his proudest moments, he said to me, you keep secrets like the Blades. The Blades were good at keeping secrets. Yeah, I got that from the last sentence. Thank you. They didn't write down much. They passed information carefully between their spies in every province to their elite members that protected the emperors. Even amongst their members, they kept much secret. Most associate the blades with their ceremonial Akavari armor and curved longswords. One can trace the blades back to the fiercest warriors of Akavir, the Dragon Guard. It was there, just as they would do in Tamriel, that they protected rulers and their kingdom. But recent discoveries show it to be much more than that. Many classic texts tell us of adventures of adventures to Akavir, known as the Dragonlands of the East. Many from Tamriel have attempted to conquer it, most famously Emperor Uriel V and his 10th Legion in 3rd Era 288, as documented in the Imperial Dispatch Disaster at Iona. Oh, I've seen that uh, around, but I have never actually read it. Today's beverage is a Mandarin Orange Seltzer. It's lovely. Uh, dragons have long been legend in Akvir, and many believe that their brief... Brief? Brief? I can't read today, I'm having issues with the reading. Many believe that their brief appearance in Tamriel's history are those that escaped Akvir, for it was there that they were hunted and killed off by the Dragon Guard. Hmm. The Dragon Guard would follow those that fled to Tamriel in the late First Era. Invading from the north, the Dragon Guard met not only dragons, but the men of Skyrim, who don't meet invasions with pictures of mead. <laughs> The Dragon Guard cut a path through Skyrim, and it was not until they were stopped by Remen Cyrodiil during the battle at Pale Pass that the invasion came to an end. It was Remen who united the human lands of Cyrodiil and defeated the Akavari invaders. Remen is one of the first documented and widely accepted of the mythic dragonborn, those anointed by Akatosh and Elysia themselves. Born with the soul of a dragon is what his followers would say. Reports differ widely on the nature of the battle at Pale Pass, but the end result is the same, that the remaining Dragon Guard, upon hearing the voice of Remen Cyrodiil, knelt and swore their lives to him, their conqueror and savior. Fragments from late First Era texts refer to the warriors dropping to their knees saying, we were not hunting, or did not intend, author rough translation, continuing, we have been searching for you. They protected Remen with their lives, as well as his descendants, as the Riemann dynasty ushered in Tamriel's second era. It was through these years that their reach extended and their order grew to become the Blades. Their conquest of the dragons complete, they only sought to protect the dragonborn and through him the empire. They reached their height late during the third era under the rule of the Septim emperors. Despite their numbers, they kept their secrecy. The most visible and well-documented were the members who personally guarded the emperor, still wearing the original, original Akaviri armor. But that was just the tip of the spear which is the most sensitive part of the spear, <clears throat> for the Blades were a larger organization stretching to every corner of Tamriel. These agents were of every race. They were merchants, thieves, craftsmen, mages, and warriors, all acting as spies, protecting the Empire as needed, and operating in secret. They often acted alone, but some fragments speak of them meeting in secret fortresses across the continent, the most famous being Cyrodiil's Cloud Ruler Temple, where they hung the swords of those slain protecting the Dragonborn. Other maps speak of Wind Scour Temple under the great expanse of Hammerfell's Alakir Desert, Sky Haven Temple in the mountains of Skyrim, and Storm Talon Temple east of Wayrest. They were known to have a Grandmaster who often lived amongst the people unknown to others. The nature of their communications, meeting places, and missions were known to only a few elite members. The only two to know all were the Grandmaster himself and the Chronicler, whose only job was to make sure the group's mission was never known but never lost. With the death of Uriel Septim VII and his son Martin, the Third Era came to a close with the Blades fortifying themselves deep within Cyrodiil's Cloud Ruler Temple as they waited for a Dragonborn to return when they would be called upon again. The Empire of the Fourth Era no longer saw the Blades openly protecting it or the Emperors. That role is now filled by the Pentus Oculatus, 
Penitus Oculatus, a purely imperial organization. But the Blades continued their secret work to watch for the Dragonborn and guard against future enemies. The Blades were among the first to see the signs that the Thalmor of the Almeri Domin Dominion would not remain isolated within their borders forever. They could do what the Penitus Oculatus, servant to imperial policy, could not, and thus earned the lasting hatred of the Thalmor. All right. The warnings of the Blades were proved right, as is well known to all. The great war between the Empire and the Thalmor consumed the Empire and nearly destroyed it. Emperor Titus Mede II eventually brokered peace with the Thalmor, but at a price many of us still bear. The reach and destructive nature of the Thalmor is known to many. Authors know in my family firsthand. They are not fools. They knew early on that the Blades were an enemy, so they hunted them throughout the Great War. Some were killed defending their temples, others as they slept in their hideaways alone. Some fought, some ran, some hid, but the Thalmor found them all. Well, apparently not. There are those that say the blades still exist around us, in hiding from the Thalmor, waiting, as they have done time and time again, for a dragonborn to return, for one to protect, for one to guide them. Okay. So essentially, Risha has just learned that Delphine is basically sworn to Risha's service. That it? Well, I don't know. I think that's something. I think that's a big deal, actually. I mean, I think. I know you're sworn to my service too, but I paid you. Um, but this is like her purpose in life is to protect the Dragonborn. So that's that's important. That's good. All right, well, come on, Simmer. Let's go talk to her. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Yeah, I didn't mean anything about that crack about having paid you. I just... I apologize. Let's go. Good. All right. Let's go find something to fight. Okay, we're not going to actually fight Delphine unless she attacks us first. Uh, we're just going to talk to her about finding out what's going on with the... Uh, and you know what? I could use a drink. And this happens to be an inn, so that works out really well. I could use a drink. I don't know you. What? Oh, I don't think you were me. followed. Come on, I have a plan. Well, I was followed by Stenmar, but he's actually in my service. Could, you, could I just, I just wanted to get a drink first, but I'll meet you in there in a minute. You're a good friend. Thank you. I guess I'll just have some wine because somehow that quenches my thirst. Because that's how alcohol works. <laughs> it's not. You're a real fighter. I like that. Is that, um. Is that because I drank the wine fast? I can see we're gonna have some very confusing conversations, Denmark. Just saying what you're thinking all the time is not necessarily the best Looking policy. For something. Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I wanted to just take a look. I don't have that many uh, ingredients, and that's good because it means I can just use this I thing over here real quick. Nor. You've had more than enough. Besides, <laughs> you still haven't paid for the last one. I'll find some coins. Some people don't think I'm do. smart. Those people Until get that, my fist. no way for you. you. I like. Thanks, Simmer. We got rooms and food. I know. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. You might want to clean that rag every now and then if you're handling the food. Yeah, because I have so few ingredients, I think I'm going to just um, do a little bit of alchemy so that... If I wait too long, I and end up with so much of many Skyrim ingredients. I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that nearly white with what do you call it? Oh uh, yeah, snow. Okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Okay. 
I might not be so fond of the follower commentary overhaul. Maybe there are wonders in this place things. I never dreamed imaginable. Uh huh. He's never seen Windhelm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. <sighs> Can I get you something? I'm good, thanks. Ooh, I like that one. Don't expect much in the way of conversation. Do you mean that you don't expect much or that I shouldn't expect much? Because I gotta tell you, you're delivering, buddy. In a strange, scattered, incomprehensible way, but you are delivering. You've been a good friend to me. I guess. Might as well. Might as well use up what I've got, right? Why not? Word is, Ulfric's Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War's only gonna get worse now. Yeah, I think Give you me heard that from me. Coming I hope this right is up. the right button. Yay! <laughs> it is. Oh. I don't mind having my hood on, it makes me seem mysterious, except for my little snout sticking out, which is it's kind of funny, to be honest. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Hey, Stenbar? Need something? Wait here. Patience isn't exactly my strong suit, but alright. Just try to enjoy the end a little bit, and I'll, uh... I'll be back in a bit. Braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and gold he had made. But then he went quiet, did Braggart. Excuse me. When he met the shield maiden Matilda, who oh, said, We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. Oh, you talk and you lie and you dream uh, of me. Now I think it's high time that you lie. Are you down here? Oh, there you are. Oh, you were doing. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Great! Uh, it's kind of right. So you're not you're not coming with me then? They would recognize you, I guess. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. Okay. But they don't know you at all yet. No, I don't. I don't think they do. I don't really have any Thalmor dealings. All right. So uh, how are we going to do this? What's the plan? The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. <laughs> I can get you sure into one connected. of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside okay. the embassy. Just He's disappear. not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty Malborn? of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work yeah. on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wen's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Solitude Stables after I've... The guy's name is Malborn? Badborn is this person's name? Well, I just did what had to be done. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, it's nice. He's having a conversation up there. The um, yeah, who's this Malborn guy? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as dangerous I do. Dangerous character? He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Great. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Yeah. So you're gonna give me an invitation to get in? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Well, I can try. Right, and you said once I'm inside, I have to like magically slip away and find some magically hidden files that I'm magically gonna know where they are? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wen's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay. All right, well, I'll meet you at the Solitude Stables. Sounds good. Be careful. Well, 
Stay safe. Are you done with this then? Right, I'm just gonna just gonna use that because I had some stuff I wanted to disenchant, actually. Oh. You ever need my steel by your side? You just ask. Hey, don't go with Delphine. I'm coming back. I thought I needed to disenchant that, and I didn't, so... I don't know, maybe I'll drop it off at the boathouse. The Asteria. This, I do need to disenchant. Good. There have been whispers. A boy up in the oh. window, name of Aventus Aretino. The Stenbars, I forgot to give it to him. The Dark Brotherhood. I bought that stuff especially for him, I forgot to give it to him. So silly. I think I used the keyboard, right? 